Hi guys, we're at Mandalay Bay, the very deep south <laughs> of the strip. And um, I showed you, I went through a little, a brief walk through Mandalay Bay and Delano, a really brief. We do have other videos of various areas of these resorts, especially Mandalay Bay, uh, including rooms and so forth, but separately. And so I wanted you to take a look first before you start walking. That's the Deuce bus, by the way. Very handy bus operating 24 hours a day. Um, so this is it, you know, there's not much out here. And I do feel a little spooked out. Even, well, maybe because I'm by myself right now. I would not recommend you walk here at night. Um, I've traveled to many places and I'm sure this place is perfectly safe. I'm sure of it. But you never know. And when you're kind of by yourself, it's never a good idea to be alone at night in the middle of nowhere. It's very hot, it's in the middle of the summer, but at night it's pleasant, it's breezy, although the winds are warm, the warm desert winds, but it's very, very pleasant. And you can hear the waterfalls of Mandalay Bay, can't you? Nothing much on the other side. The, the story goes <laughs> that uh, there were plans, and I mean, I may be not completely correct, this is what I've been told. Uh, so allegedly, there were supposed to be, there were plans to create a Ferris wheel here. You can see those poles, but it never really uh, materialized. Allegedly, there were construction problems and then it stopped there. So this area hasn't really received that revamp that perhaps was planning to create just to get people coming here, right here. Um, but that's what happened alle allegedly and then of course the ferris wheel was created at where now the link the famous link stands from now on you will see several stops of the deuce and uh, and in this case also the strip and downtown express can you see on the left which is a much faster bus because it doesn't stop in it only stops at specific points only and it's much much faster this is where you purchase your tickets for the bus you can buy a three-day pass all sorts of passes and you can pause the video if you want to read more now you see here some people start materializing and it looks like i'm just outside mgm but it's far from it far from it i want to know where those people are going because if they keep walking there's nothing there nothing in terms of tourist there and I think I might actually be walking from here just to show you what this section of the strip is like and I'm, so, I'm sorry about the wind and there's the side entrance one of the entrances of to Mandalay Bay I love it though isn't it beautiful with the big statues it's a beautiful resort beautiful resort but it is far it is far from and look at this and there you get to see the beautiful Luxor pyramid with the famous landmark light beam look at how it goes into stretches into the sky when you cross the road really pay attention um, don't stay too long especially when there are not that many people around cars go very fast here and this is a special warn a special warning for European travelers beware there isn't that pedestrian culture here in the United States you know Europe Europe cities have this pedestrian pedestrian priority culture well it's not the case here so beware oh and that's Delano I've shown you a walkthrough of, uh, of, of um, the Luxor already so I will not go in and I'm not staying in Luxor this time so I just really want to show you this area especially at night just to get a feel for it you know see I want to show you the wind tonight can you see across the road it's beautiful and that's a way you can get into Luxor that way which is actually what I showed you when I did the Luxor walkthrough isn't that nice okay let's continue it's still a little deserted 
too deserted for my liking. <laughs> but it is 2.30 in the morning, right? I'm a little too adventurous, maybe. Having said this, if it's like a group of you, you know, wanted a wanting a nice night stroll to walk off the buffets or the restaurants or whatever you ate or indulged in, then this would be nice. You know, it's very peaceful in a way, despite the cars. If it's a group of you, it'll be absolutely fine, I think. Another view of the Luxor, and what you see are uh, the rails that uh, basically where the tram runs to connect Excalibur to Mandalay Bay. And the tram is completely free, of course. Now I'm showing you what the back, where I've come from. You should be able to see um, the Mandalay Bay. It's not a long walk, you know, I mean, at night, there's nobody, it's not too hot. Um, it's not a long walk, it's just that, you know, you just have to hope you don't meet anybody crazy. <laughs> so don't walk at night by yourself in areas that are not fully crowded. And there's a tram right there, can you see it? There's the tram. And there's a Scalibur right there. So let's keep walking. There are these gigantic crossroads. As I said, the European, European travelers will be a little bit uh, overwhelmed by them, you know. It's just because distances and buildings and roads and traffic, they're all so big. So wait patiently for your turn. Do not jaywalk. On the other side, there's pretty much nothing really. Of course you can drive and and then you meet residential areas and so forth and many other sh um, shopping areas for locals it's great actually but not right in this very corner you have to drive quite some bit and as i say everything looks so close <laughs> And I'm so tempted to cross, you know. Let's hope that, because there's nobody here, but, you know. Let's just hope that, oh, look, somebody's being adventurous. Adventurous, I might do the same. No, I waited, I waited, I waited. <laughs> here I am telling you to do something and doing something else. No, it wouldn't work. Okay. So we are approaching Excalibur. There are more people, obviously, around. And uh, from here on, they're gonna be from here on. They're gonna be people at all hours of the night. That's what really attracted me to Vegas. Being a night person, uh, I could go out at 3:30, 4 in the morning, and there would be people, different types of people all the time. Because um, every hour has, or every time slot in the day or night, has its types of of visitors. But it's real fun to see how. Vegas changes according to the time of the day or night. Now this time I'm not going to go all the way where the tram starts, which is that building. You can see the railway where it ends. But I'm going to go this way and uh, just to cut, cut it a little bit shorter. But you have an idea now. We've got an idea of the area between Excalibur and Mandalay Bay and outside Mandalay Bay. This is Tropicana, but you know, once you uh, from this point onwards, basically, you just have the strip and it's very lively. It will start basically between Excalibur and New York and between uh, Tropicana and MGM, basically. From New York, New York and MGM onwards, it's all nice and lively. Even late at night, of course, not as much as on peak hours, but you still have plenty of people. Okay, here I am back at Excalibur. I hope this has been interesting to you. Let me know what other things you would like to see, what other types of walkthroughs you'd like to see, what other areas of the strip you'd like me to walk with you. Uh, it can be fun. And, um, and, and write to me about it on top-buffet.com. We have a video request section. You can also post your comments there. Please don't don't expect a reply if you post a comment on this YouTube channel because I just do not have time to reply here as well. Um, in fact, at the moment, the uh, comments area of YouTube has been deactivated. I may reactivate it when I have time, but I will not be able to reply to YouTube comments. But I will reply and do reply to the comments. Oh, look, 
I'm right underneath. See, I'm like a kid. <laughs> Oh, the comments that you write on uh, top com. Okay, guys, bye-bye from uh, the feet of Excalibur, just under the, um, the tram. Look at this, this is quite rather cool, isn't it? Okay, guys, bye-bye.